It's gonna be a few things I'm gonna cover in this video. I'm gonna try to wrap it up so it doesn't have to be too long of a video or 20 different episodes. It's hard to get it all in one, but I'm gonna show you both sides of this fence first so you can see what we're talking about. And you can be the judge for yourself, however you wanna do your project, but I'm gonna share with you today how I do mine. I've been asked a lot over the years, how do I get my fences so straight? How do I get them to look so good on the top? Um, so here's something I'm gonna share with you today is just a few measurements that I use. On a three rail fence, the boards are eight inches above the top rail and eight inches below the bottom rail. The post is four inches above the rail and four inches below the board. Now I know that sounds confusing, but if you really just look at it, you'll see that there's a balance to this. And on this type of fence, you can float this guide up over the top of the posts if you wanna use this method. So if you measure off the board, let's just stick this tape down here really quick. If you measure up off the board <clears throat> and you look at this, you have a six foot board, 72 inches. You have four inches down for your post. So you can set your post at basically 68 off the ground. 69 would give you a one inch gap. And your boards are roughly eight inches below the top. And so that's your standard right there. Set your post at 68 and you're gonna get a nice good um, footing on your posts. So you'll have all the posts in the ground. That's the first thing you do. If you can deck your posts out to height, deck them out to height. Because the next step is just measure off the top on the high side on each one, uh, four inches, and your rail, your top rail, and all your rails will turn out as clean as all the posts. Okay, second thing is, is normally I'll put a board at eight inches here, eight inches there, or I'll have a post that's up at the top, but in this case, you don't want to because you'll block the dog ears with the posts. That's why it's four inches down. If you want to make this three and a half, you can stack another three and a half two by four right here for a guide. This is what I use. This side floats and this channel just sits up on the boards. So if you set your first board at eight, go ahead and get yourself a jig like this. And I've made this at eight. So that represents basically a board right here. Now, if you're in the middle of a bay, you might have a little dip. Watch where you put your two by fours. But if you're on the end on your clips, you're gonna be accurate. That jig slides. So as you go along, you can slide this. And it always has your eight inches off of this right here. So if your rails are really clean, your fence is gonna turn out really clean. As you advance along and put your boards on, you'll end up sliding this jig down and when you get to a post, obviously just lift it up and put it across. Now this is what the frame looks like. And that's what your job is gonna look like if you use this method. This is the method I use every time. You can have a great looking fence. It's going to be really easy to do because of your uh, sliding jig. You won't have to keep setting anything up over the post and doing a bunch of crazy stuff. Just keep sliding that jig along and pocket your boards in here. So if you want to take a look at this, this piece is just channeled in. In the center of the board. And this piece is just keyed in so it doesn't flop around. And I just picked a really nice straight two by four for the guide. Now you can get a 10 footer if you want and span the entire bay, which is a great idea. The tape is working pretty good for now. When you get done, you'll be able to look at your frame if you're going to match a gate and your frame rail, if you want to build your frame rails now, end up roughly 55, 56 inches. So you have a really nice gate frame um, and hinging and mounting points when you put your gate on to match all your rails. All right, that's uh, the best tips I can give you for three rail fence, measurements off of the clips and off of the tops of the posts. And you'll know just for the future, if you want to use these measurements, you're roughly at four, 30, and 56. Four, 30, and 56. 
set your post at 68 inches and put your boards eight inches above the top runner and you'll have a product that looks like this when you're done. All right, well, hopefully you found that helpful. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. All right, hope you enjoyed. Till the next video.